So the front foot is a good indicator of where our hips are. And we know that we want to keep our hips closed, right? We want to stay closed to um, promote more torque, which therefore promotes higher power output, right? So you'll see as you kind of start to come down, your foot's already open. It's kind of showing me that you're leaking uh, potential energy from the hips, right? So if that foot front foot is open, that front hip's gonna fly open as well. It's gonna follow it. And then next thing I want you to notice, kind of in that similar position at, as we start to separate our hands, um, just take notice kind of the head, the head positioning. You don't really ever get to a point where your energy is like back and, and down into the ground, which is what we want. I'm gonna explain this in further detail during the, the recap video, just to be crystal clear. I'll draw like a line. I want you to notice his head positioning as his, um, his leg comes down from lift, how it stays back. You'll see in this back knee how he sits and activates into that glute. Um, but you'll see that his head positioning stays fairly back um, for the full separation of the hands and even as he progresses down the mound. Next thing you'll notice is the front foot. So just pay attention to this front foot. Um, as he kind of descends down the mound, how he stays closed with it up until right about foot, front foot strike, right? So he's rotation into front foot strike rather than rotating and then coming down into that front foot strike. That front foot, right? So we see the front foot um, open, which tells me that our hips, right? Our hips are gonna open up a little bit. And we wanna, we wanna keep these closed to create optimal torque as we kind of descend down the mound, like I showed you in that Hendrix analysis, was that if we can keep everything closed, if we can keep our upper half closed and our lower half closed and keep those in sync, then as soon as it comes time to rotate, everything's happening at once and we can increase that power output knowing that we've built up enough force and torque as we kind of go down that once it comes time to, to let this arm go along, you know, the body's there saying, hey, boom. Like think about it like in, a, in, a ter in terms of, you know, like a whip, right? The body's moving efficiently, so then the arm's just kind of along for the ride. Yo guys, so this is just a uh, visual of what to expect when you sign up for the analysis. This is the email that you'll get back. Um, if I have any posts that I've done in the past to further elaborate on a specific deficiency that I see that you may have, um, I always recommend that. You also see that I recommend specific products that I believe will better equip you um, for that specific deficiency. So just to give you guys a complete visual of how it all goes about and what to expect if you do decide to sign up for the analysis.